Okay, so I'm not really sure where to start. Um, my name is Yvonne. I'm 24. Um, in 2005, I started my eating disorder situation, per se. Um, okay, in 2005, I discovered anorexia. Um, I remember restricting my calorie intake to about 300. Um, walking miles a day, and that was pretty much it. Um, I know I was always the happiest when I was the thinnest. Um, my lowest weight was 85. I'm five foot three, um, and. The reason being is because I went to Florida with a good friend, and her mother went with me along with her mom's boyfriend, and I felt as if, like, she was going to pressure me to put on weight, so I went on the vacation with intention and the idea that her mom would try and make me eat things, and so, um, I think I lost weight when I was on that trip. Um, anyways, my anorexia turned to bulimia because I just couldn't, not that I couldn't, well, maybe I couldn't keep restricting my intake so much. Um, when I would eat something, I would just feel so guilty, whether it be an apple or fat free candy or whatever it was. And I remember, um, I did have a bulimic episode way before, not way before, I think like two years before I had uh, body image issues. Um, I was dating this guy and my mom had gotten dinner and we had already talked after and he said that he wanted to take me out to eat and I was saying, oh I'm not hungry. but. No one wants to be that girl on a date where you don't eat food. So, um, I made myself get sick from the meal that my mom made or got or whatever, what have you. And, um, that was just one little small tidbit of it before. Uh, anyways, back to 2005, 2006. When I first started my binging and purging, I didn't feel as if it would be, um, addictive. But here we are, six or seven years later, and I have been all over the bulimia spectrum. Um, and right now, I mean, I think the main purpose of this video is to just talk about it. Um, I kept it a huge secret up until May, June of 2011. I started seeking um, professional help because I had gotten three DUIs in six months. A boyfriend of mine and I broke up. We were um, together for about two and a half years. And I didn't want to deal with the um, breakup. So I just drank everything away. I didn't even want to internalize any of it, so I drank all the time. But, um, so I thought counseling because I heard that it looked good for the judge if you went for some treatment IOP. Anyways, the lady and I were talking and she really wasn't addressing my main concerns. So I felt like I had concerns with my eating disorder. And so after like a whole hour long meeting of talking about drinking and my history, I just wanted to talk about this problem that I had. Um, well, I saw her once, maybe twice, and then I did research in the area to see where there was um, help for my eating disorder. And I found a place in Royal Oak um, that was nearby. So, yeah, so um, I guess it kind of happened. And then, given my DUI circumstances, I had to move 
about an hour and a half away from where my counselor was, and so I was doing therapy over the phone, and that was helpful, but um, she ended up graduating from her master's and needed to not, she wasn't able to work because her license is being adjusted. So, um, but I do know that I do binge and purge when I'm most stressed. Um, I know that it would be up to like seven times a day, but now I was put on antidepressants and I did realize most of the time he knows was after I had quit drinking. Um, I was put on my antidepressants after the other doctor. Anyways, um, once I did take the antidepressants, I realized that my binging and purging cycles were less. Um, and I do know that binging and purging releases endorphins, which I'm pretty sure makes it the addictive part in the, um, in the addictive part in the process. Um, and um, now I have this crazy <clears throat> tattooing thing I was doing. And since I'm not drinking, I started smoking, which is, I've always hated smoking. Um, but I did lose interest in eating when I started smoking. And I think I, I think that helped me kick off my, my weight loss. Because I was on, huge story, but I was on house arrest for five months because of my drug drivings. And um, I gained 10 or 12 pounds just because all I would do was just continue to eat. And I didn't really get much exercise. Um, so, yeah, and then I was removed off tether and then I was able to exercise more. And um, not really exercise, just get out of the house. I hate exercising, to be honest. I think it's a complete stress. <laughs> I don't know, like it feels good, but I just hate running and doing cardio. But if I do go to the gym, when I used to own a membership, I would just do the elliptical and walk and incline and stuff like that. But anyways, it's totally off topic. Um, one time this is my first video, so I'm kind of, don't really have a, that outline is what I'm talking about. But I do know that it is being a sort of awareness week. Well, even though today is March 3rd, 2012, um, I kind of, I searched for things in my area and I kind of caught the tail end of it, so I missed most of the events here. Um, but there is an event in June that I'm um, really nice to going to. So I don't really know, but I kind of want to do like a frequent like, blog thing. I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to stop here.